Hey, Elijah. Yo. Did you, do you remember those things like when we were talking about like the process to complete a reading, like after doing, like I know, can you explain what the process is going to be after doing a reading? Right, right. Because um, I think when I was talking to Nova about it, we we're thinking that'd be a, a, a second level kind of function. Oh, where people are paying for the service? Well, or they reached a level of membership so they would get higher access to more functions. I think Nova, you explained it, but I mean. Yeah. Do you remember and, Nova when we were talking about like the, the actions, take an action step and put a deadline on it? Because to know is bring that up as a sort of a necessary component. Yeah, I think uh, building in kind of uh, some action plan stuff, uh, stuff they can write in, fill out, save, uh, you know, check off, et cetera. Uh, all that I think is will be pretty important to some people. Some people will just use this as a spell and then walk away, but a lot of people will probably want to yeah, be able to have, use some built-in tools to you know, continue steps forward from their spell. And I think it does make sense to make that a premium item. Right, okay. So I, I would imagine either people pay a flat amount and they, you know, have a premium version now, or uh, maybe they crowdfund it, help us crowdfund it, and so they get that premium version as well, or maybe they're paying by the month. Okay. Uh, something like that. Because part of the action steps, people can also, if they don't have an idea of what, do, what they can do themselves, they can also divine action steps. And like, if we have, you know, um, you know, 10 or 20 different options of action steps. Um, I, I think that'd be cool as well. Um, what about different packages? Like putting together a different package, like, okay, this one is, uh, okay, so Elijah, you said that there's, in this group you were doing the first bit was like a personal reference point or like a personal, was first with the whole thing that you're going through with these, um, gosh, I forget the name of who you're working with. Um, Lucille. Oh, Lucille Foundation. Yeah, yeah. So like, say it's like the, what did you call that? The personal? The first, the first part was personal growth. The second was group coherence. And the third was collective intelligence. Mm -hmm. So maybe each one of those could be a certain package, which helps mm your your remedies and and your your mat your um divinations and puts that into some kind of a system like for an example um like choose a path what's your lifetime goals choose that and then like something that brings you through that that you can actually see on maps and you can save them that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking yeah so each one is kind of like a different kind of graduated um uh, package that you can purchase and um, and utilize, and mm -hmm. then so once you're done that, then you then you really integrate it, and then you can go to a next one or say, yeah, now I want to bring this to a group. How do I work together with this with the group, and then so forth. That's I, what like mm -hmm. I, like, I like it a lot. Yeah, um, and that's what I think when using models that can sort of connect in with other groups and other people, it, it's uh, a great way to organize things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, we, we, I, I just didn't know if I could let them in because I couldn't see them um, coming in. So I just stopped sharing, but hopefully there'll be a message saying they're coming in, right? Uh, uh, who are you talking about, sorry? Well, Lindsay and... Uh, oh yeah, there should Lindsay be a look. I just wonder when I'm sharing a screen, is there still a message that comes in saying they're coming in? Probably. Yeah, there should be. Okay. Okay, oh. so who, who wants to go first with a question? He's kind of cute. I just did one because I'm, I did one on my laptop because I'm doing the thing on my, uh, I'm with Zoom on my phone. So my question that I put in was my next, next best next step for new paradigm toolkit with Elijah. 
and my value lens is charisma. And my needs analysis is, or my conversation card is needs analysis. And my lens is choice lens insights. It's actually really good, a really good one. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, we're supposed to use, the, we're supposed to use- Do the, it together? We're supposed to do it together. Sorry. So you're gonna to have to come up with another one, okay? Okay. <laughs> also, okay. I think you still need to refresh there because you should have the dragon background. Oh yeah? Yeah, I got the dragon background. Mm. It's Miss Plum's birthday today. Oh. Is it today? Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday, Miss Plum. Cheers to oh, you. Oh, I messaged her and I didn't say anything about her birthday. There we go. Okay, so who wants to go first? I do. Okay. What is my best next step for a new paradigm toolkit with, I, I don't that's good enough. Chinoa's best next step for new paradigm toolkit, NPT. <clears throat> You know, if we, if we came up with a methodology that just used this and just did next steps based upon it, and that's it, mm -hmm. um, that'd be a very interesting way to run a business. <laughs> yeah. And it would show that we're using the tool. Mm -hmm. Make it, it would be simple. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh, I need data, yeah, for sure. I need to value statistics, sustainability, okay. Enrollment, I've got enroll. Mm. Can you read the enrollment one for me? To enroll someone's interest into an idea such they are an active participant. Mm. And that's like the big conversation from the, the, uh, the forum. The always, forum? Yeah, they're always enrolling people. Oh, the landmark forum? Yeah. They, they are masters of the enrollment conversation. And then sustainability to value the keeping in existence and maintaining of a system. So what do you think that means, Chinoa? Uh, well, sustainability to, means, to me means recyclable. So looking at how things are gonna go on a cycle in terms of in terms of product sales income product development product sales income so to me that's that's inherent in any business model that i have to design enrollment to me i'm thinking i need to enroll my energy with a few other people in the team here um because i'm not ready to go outside of the team so maybe having some conversations with a couple of other people to get them involved in helping me with the process of developing a business plan and a fundraising plan. And I guess my flow lens right now is, yeah, I'm still sort of collecting data on how to develop it. Um, hmm. Okay, does anyone have insights, questions or intuitions? They quickly wanna put in? No? Okay. All right, so who wants to go next? Thank you. Come on. Uh, I can go next. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, okay. Uh, how can we get a designer on the team? It's <laughs> mm. a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Recent <laughs> connection. Connection. 
now you're supposed to answer it, uh, Nova. Um, hmm, okay. My detachment, um, probably for me, that would uh, indicate that uh, when we approach a new designer to brief them through our connection with them, uh, that uh, I need to detach myself from the existing design and any emotional connection I have to the work I've done there, I, I would think. Uh, briefing someone is obviously going to be important in order to, you know, uh, get a designer on board. And connection makes sense to me and just the general idea that we need to connect with people in order to find someone. It's kind of how I'm reading it. Okay, open to the group. Elijah, had you touched in with Kevin or Sean from uh, cash flow planning at all? Shoot, no, I haven't. <laughs> like as far as looking for a designer, I don't know. I know Kevin's super busy, but, and I'm not really positive on what his skills are, but designer seems to be fitting in for some reason. I procrastinated that one. Uh, maybe you should give the info to, <laughs> to Nova. Mm -hmm. I guess I should be the person that's talking to, I don't know. Yeah, like I guess, Noah, what you could do, like I work with a, an organization called Cash Flow Planning. So it's more like doing cash flow with money, not budgeting, but cash flow planning. And Kevin worked for them, but he went out on his own because he got so busy. And he's from Nova Scotia. And he's pretty amazing. Like I really like working with him even as much as Sean. So both of these gentlemen both worked for um, Cash Flow Planning. And now they're on both on their own in their own company. So I could send you the information. If you wanted to touch in and just let them know that you know that you've talked to me and this is what we're doing and just ask some questions and you'll see where they are. You want to do that, Nova? Uh, I can do that if I'm authorized to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll send you their information. It's Kevin and Sean. So where okay. do I send that to? Can I send it to you on Messenger on Facebook or... Uh, yeah, that works good for me. Okay, where do I find you? Because I don't have you on uh, Facebook. Oh, yeah. Um, I will add you right now while we're talking. Okay, yeah, Lori Renton. Perfect, thank you. And I'll send you that information because one of those guys might work out, Elijah. Okay. And, and Sean has done a lot of work with us already with the Learning Center, so he even kind of understands some of the stuff we're doing, so... Okay, Chinova, what was your spell again? Uh, sustainability, enrollment, and data. Okay. Awesome. Who wants to go next? I can go. I, I just, I wanna go like, how does the discovery process fit into the bigger picture of this paradigm toolkit? New paradigm toolkit. NPT, I like that. How does discoveries fit into, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> so dullness, not to value, not being intense or accurate. Hmm. Hmm. Dullness. Like maybe it's still too dull right now. It's just so, so basic that it needs to expand. So maybe dullness is giving me some hints that we need to put more creativity, that I need to put more creativity into it and use more of the toolkit. Because all I'm using right now, period, is just the 852 on the synergy from the uh, flow map. So that might be that one. And then complaint to express dissatisfaction with the service or product that's been received. Hmm. I haven't really had any complaints with it, just working it at the basics, but I haven't got a system in place that keeps it you know how we were saying when, um, I think Chinoa said $400 for something, 
it's like you start at a base and you give people this much and then they want more and it's one step up and one step up and leads to the maximum platform. That's what the goal would be. And then the purpose, the reason for which something exists or is done, made or used. So the purpose being people to get more in touch with their emotions around money is what the purpose of the discovery process is. And then just, so I guess how it fits into the new paradigm toolkit is to utilize more of it, not such a little bit that I'm using. And then maybe something like this could eventually be done so that a person's able to just have a computer there and they hit buttons. Like right now, when you're in person, it's okay because you're just, I'm using the cards because I have the decks. Do, Lori, do you, uh, are you organizing your discovery process into the five communication spaces? Mm, I'm, I haven't been working on it for a while with this transition in my business, but that's probably what I should be doing or could be doing. Because if, if, if you can see right now in the new paradigm yeah. toolkit, it's maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. Yeah. And in the processes, it's organized by the five communication spaces. Mm -hmm. So then you could bring the discovery process in at those five different levels. It's like oh. for, for one person, for a couple, for a family or group, for the whole community. And then, I mean, you can add the sacred space if you want, but... Mm -hmm. um, that's more probably the feng shui of the house and how people organize, you know, that in relationship right. to manifestation. So okay. um, that's one thing. And also thinking about like people are coming to you because of the dullness of their life. They're, they're complaining about their life. Mm -hmm. It's dull and perhaps has no purpose. And so what the discovery process is doing is, is discovering what their genius is, discovering what their gifts are. And then linking it into something bigger, which is us building a whole new paradigm. Ooh. That's really good, Elijah, because I wanted to go beyond money. It's just that I'm using money as the tool or the energy or whatever it is, because I'm a financial advisor and you're, you're kind of limited to how much you can expand yourself when you're under the licensing and compliance of the investment world, which that'll change the end of August because I'm giving up my license. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so that's, that would probably work because discovering their gifts, because as we grow, just as who we are, the money flows. We're not living in fear, right, Laura? Like when we live in fear around money, boy, it can do danger for us, for our health. For sure. I'm, I'm wondering also if um, perhaps you could do the discovery process with the team members. We all probably need it. And mm -hmm. you might need practice, but again, to see like, how do we tie in like the core team mm -hmm. into the money streams of, that they really want? I mean, like, and I think this is us looking at that ideal job yeah. and look at, looking at um, using the tools to figure out the integration point between your work and mine and everybody else's. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure uh, probably Lara and Jordan and Nova and Chinoa and probably Lindsay Brook. I mean, maybe we could have a team meeting based upon you running it with a discovery process and you learning how to take people online into discovery process as a team. Mm -hmm. And then that would give you practice on how to do it. And again, we look at, I would look at how you do it. You look at how we come together. And so all of us are starting to bring each piece of the puzzle together. Oh, yeah. um, I've been playing Nova's game this week and it's, 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 uh, it's great to see his genius and what he's been doing and you know i'm giving feedback about what i see about it. and it's just like each of us has something which we can really offer to everybody and mm -hmm. and part of the again new paradigm is you know lovingly helping one another to get ahead with what we want to get ahead yeah. with yeah yeah and it, it is it's a process like one two three of those the first three fit into money in money out and just really paying attention to cash flow for three months mm. okay but even if even if we did a month and then a person has a feel of how it's working and nothing is automated yet it's all just been happening like i had a lady come in she come in about money but we went beyond she couldn't stand working where she worked she's got a sideline business starting monday she's resigning from her job and she's going full-fledged with her business now. Mm. 
So just in conversation and doing this stuff, she comes in to talk about money, but we go beyond that. So awesome. Okay. okay who wants to go people. next? Jordan? Sure, I'll go next. Yeah. Um, my question is, how can I now best um, move step by step? How can I take the most um, precise steps forward? There's that stealth again. It, it always <laughs> that stealth always comes up. Yeah. In this case, I'm interested to use the stealth in a way of being a secret agent unto myself. So yeah, like I said, I'm in like refinement now. So moving away from like the whole big picture and moving into the channels of creation. And so almost like not putting so much attention on the larger creation and more just uh, focusing on the task. Yeah, the, the tasks at hand basically. And then just interview, interview, interviewing. What are we, you know, what are we creating? What are we creating? Interview conversations. Mm. <laughs> mm. I guess interviewing um, in terms of getting really in touch with uh, what it is that wants to be created. Mm -hmm. I'm having a, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I'm having a hard time flowing this one, but. You want to put it to the group? Please, yeah. So does anyone have insights, intuitions, questions? Um, well, I have the insight because he said the word, the most precise step. So for me that in, in wanting to be precise, you have precise, you have to use a lot of stealth, which um, to value a secret clandestine or behind the scenes procedure. Hmm. Yeah. And so also he's got it, he's in the process of doing a lot of research, I imagine then. So research is part of his thing. The interview is all about the research. Um, so it's almost like he's got to look behind, you know, whatever answers he gets and whatever conversations he has, he has to look a little bit behind the scenes to see what the, what's really there in the meat of it. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, like interviewing <laughs> behind the scenes. Having, a, uh, having conversations, but also using your maps and what you do with an underlying lining, with an underlining like uh, um, goal by putting that, what's in the conversations with interviewing people into what you're doing and what you're feeling. Um, maybe. I, I think you, if you looked at each time you meet someone <coughs> as an opportunity to interview them and get content, and that to your next step to be person to person to person because you're so focused on relationships. You got all the people on your walls and they're coming through you and then they're coming to you. And so stealth, I think being able to capture a good conversation sometimes is to be a little stealthy. You're not really in their face and you're kind of, uh, as, as, as I've seen, you want to go to like your living form of content, you know, taking it in and sending it out. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. where I think it's super helpful to hear all you guys talk about because yeah, where you where, where you seem to come exactly directly with that line is that when you're with other people, I'm like so much of a loner right now. I really don't see a lot of people. So I'm not really interact. If I was interacting with people more, then I could apply this really well in that capacity. Um, so it's kind of like when I'm looking at the most precise steps forward, um, perhaps that's applying to this kind of equation as I'm moving into connecting more socially. Okay, uh, who's next? Brooke or Lindsay, do you have a question you'd like to ask? I do. Um, can I ask, should, this is going to seem kind of random and obscure, but can I, should I take my commercial diving license or business school? Or biz. <laughs> you read it? Yeah. Um, after instance of determining mentally upon some action or result, drill parts into holes so they can be understood how it fits into a whole to value the act or instance of combining into an integral whole. I guess it, for me, when I hear that, it's probably more of like, doesn't matter one or the other, but it's like how you want to be able to combine them together to be able to create whatever intention it is that you have for doing each of them. Yeah, they're individual parts that can be put into a whole. And I guess, yeah, I just need to fit, understand how they fit together. It, from, it basically says, from what I understand, is that it doesn't matter one or the other or both, but it's figuring out how they fit together and if they do then you can do them or if they don't then don't which is pretty fair I think open open to the group yeah I think when you're you know choosing a life path you have to see how it integrates with your whole life and maybe that's you know what you want to see like what 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 is your true value in terms of how you want to integrate whatever step you're taking into your whole life and synthesis to me it's it's almost telling you that you have to look at the whole um yeah I mean, just to see the combination of integration and synthesis, like they're the two parts that just both are speaking the same thing. So it's a bit like two aces with two aces, is that you're bringing all of your intentions together. And it seems that to me is what you told is, is your gift. Like mm -hmm. see, to me, you said that you're able to see all the different parts and how to find the missing ones and put them all together, which essentially this would be doing. So maybe it's saying there's something other than business school or driver's license, or driver license. Uh, maybe there's something else around you that you can't see. That's an opportunity that might be very good for you in using your actual gift. Then would you mind maybe typing in like what would be my best next step? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 <Yes>. Okay, <laughs> pretty obvious. 
Look at all the probable and possible ways to make a product or gift better. Ugh. The result or achievement <laughs> toward which effort is directed. Yeah. <sighs> to value steadfast adherence to the same principles, course, and farm. Oh, geez. Yeah. So I guess it's more of like, what's my end goal? How can I consistently work towards that goal? And in which ways do I need to essentially quote unquote, like upgrade my choices or actions to be able to work towards that goal? Because it's definitely something that's like a different life, a bigger life, something that is different or in terms better than where I'm at right now. What are my goals and how do I consistently work towards that? And does like business school get me towards that goal? Is it a cons like in con is it consistent with the values and goal that I have? And same questions towards commercial diving. Is it consistent towards my goal? Does it work towards it, or is it a veer off towards what it is that I'm aiming for? Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that the goal was the flow is like a flow lens, other than a choice lens. So maybe the choice is like the choice is intention, right? Last one, and then so the with the go with your goals to get closer to your intentions um and then yeah and then you're having some upgrades of what you yeah so you can consistently figure out what's the best thing for you in a whole yeah that's what i would that's how i would read it mm -hmm. Thanks for that, Laura. Thanks. And I think if, if you're going to get good at anything, you have to be consistent. You have to practice. Um, it's anything I've seen. Uh, does someone else have another one? We're running a little bit out of time. Five minutes left. Okay, I, I can... got one. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, how can I create a safe and comfortable home? I'll live <laughs> I get a huge lodge to live in right on the ocean because that's going to happen mm -hmm. well I guess if, if when you do get it there, there's a lot of people who need a home on this team oh yeah oh yeah we could have a whole team. we could have a the team castle basically <laughs> be great we can have a healing room about it Mm. Oh, nice kitchen, nice room, view and space and time. Right by the ocean. Nice. Yeah, being smart about what I'm looking for, doing the right steps and instructions to get me there and seeing what kind of position and role I want to play in it. What do you have to teach? Or what? Hmm? What kind of instructional conversation could you find that would help you find the right position? Mm. Sure, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Anyone? Hmm. Well, we're, we are in a shitty position <laughs> right now. It's not a very good flow, the market and what we're dealing with. It'd be nice to just be like, oh yeah, we can all find a place, but it's not that simple these days. Could we see if different answers come up if you type in, how can Brooke find a safe and comfortable home? <laughs>
That's sweet. More precise. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, clarity on knowing what I want and analyzing it to figure out what is best and what kind of move I want to make and the experience to know what suits me and what I'm looking for. Cool. Does anyone have anything else? I think clarity and knowing exactly what you want and who you want to share that space with is important. And then what does the experience say? What we extract and learn from the events that occur in our lives. Like, I think a big thing is what do you want that space for? Is it just to live, just to be, just to eat and just to sleep? Or is it bigger than that? Is there more you need to analyze and what you want for a space? Like, I think that's where the clarity is. Like, it's one thing to say, well, I just want a place to live that's comfortable. Well, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. You know, does safe mean the house itself? Does it mean the neighborhood? Does it mean the people I'm living with? So I think mm -hmm. it is about getting a little more clear on what it is you really want for a comfortable home. And what do you want to do in there? Because your last one, I can't remember what the middle card was on the, la on the other one without your name in it, Brooke. What was that middle one? Instructional. Oh, instructional. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm reading from this. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Laurie, I love you. It's good to see your face. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> uh, we're coming to the very end. And I think what, Lara, you haven't gone yet? No, I haven't gone yet. Do you have a quick question? Uh, it says less one than a minute. Okay, so maybe we'll uh, end here and jump back in for if anyone has to go, we've, we're gone past the time. So if you have to go, then feel free to go, but we'll uh, jump back in and, and do Larry.